Running water and indoor plumbing, they are critical components of our everyday lives, and it's the pipes running under our feet that we can thank for those luxuries. But that infrastructure's crumbling, and it's costly to fix. 7 News reporter Ayla Farone takes a look at how three upstate counties are dealing with this problem. Underground sewer and water pipes make modern life possible, and across the upstate every day, public utility groups are making sure that they are up and running. The average person will only think about these systems when they break. So what is being done to keep them up to date? What does the future of underground infrastructure look like? And most importantly, what will it cost you? What do you think about when you turn on a faucet, take a shower, or flush the toilet? It's um, out of sight, out of mind. Probably not a whole lot, but there are thousands of miles of pipes running underneath your feet that make all of that possible. And across the upstate, there are people like Anderson County Administrator Rusty Burns keeping those pipes up to date. It's a never-ending battle, and you're always trying to catch the back of that truck because as soon as you think you see daylight, there's something else that goes wrong. That's because sewer and water pipes across the country have reached the end of their lifespan. So counties like Anderson are forced to repair and replace them at a rapid rate. We're looking at the very best material and the best practices and the most modern practices. Burns is even turning over part of his sewer system to Rewa, the leading sewer service in Greenville County. I call it a miracle every time you flush because it is a long journey down here to one of our treatment facilities. CEO Graham Rich is in charge of more than 2,000 miles of buried sewer infrastructure. He's also in the middle of one of the biggest infrastructure projects the city of Greenville has ever seen. We're about 200 feet into the hillside right now, and that's just to get us into some um, high quality material to be able to launch the TBM. TBM stands for Tunnel Boring Machine, and Rewa is getting ready to lower one into this hole and drill an 11 foot wide tunnel under more than a mile of downtown Greenville. It will convey wastewater underground from one side of downtown to another, where we have more capacity in our existing lines. Meanwhile, next door in Spartanburg County. What was the material? When was it put in? And what's the demand on it? Spartanburg Water CEO Sue Snyder is running not only sewer, but also water lines for the county. She has a laser focus on using the components existing infrastructure was built around. A lot of the infrastructure in the upstate was done around the industry. Like the mills to fuel what is needed next. To go ahead and repair and replace aging infrastructure with new technologies. And if the work across the three counties sounds expensive. Our council just recently allocated $28 million for refurbishment of old sewer lines and also the construction of new sewer lines. The Dig Greenville project Rewa is pioneering costs $40 million. People have to understand the importance of a, a good sanitary sewer system and what it does to a community. But Schneider puts that cost into perspective. Every dollar that the sewer district has invested in infrastructure has returned $27. And economic growth is the key when it comes to revamping infrastructure in the upstate. Schneider says businesses in areas like Highway 290 are only there because of the existing sewer system. Prospectively putting in infrastructure to plan for growth is key. And she's not the only one who sees it that way. The fact that we're able to put sewer in certain locations helps us to grow, but it also helps us to grow strategically. Burns says they're working on this in Anderson County right now as well. TTI chose its location off Highway 28, largely in part to the sewer system. Three blasts to get to the bottom. And the Dig Greenville project is all about future growth in the city while allowing life above ground to continue uninterrupted. You won't know that anything is happening there. It will be underground and no one will know what's going on. These problems, solutions, and costs aren't unique to the upstate or even to South Carolina. That's why public utility systems and counties plan for ways to pay for the work, including reserve funds, grants, and bonding. So instead of thinking of it as money, consider, at least for a moment, the pipes and people that make it all possible. There's just a lot of things that go into it for something that costs a whole lot of money that you bury under the ground and you never think about until something goes wrong.